guys welcome back to my channel Win's life here it is cooking time dinner time I usually make dinner guys and the leftover we just eat it the next day for our lunch but I usually cook between 3 30 and 4 30 because we eat around 5 and 5 30 so for today's video I am going to make stuffed pork tenderloin and I have all the ingredients here and we have olive oil mayo honey mustard dill it's like a um, it's called dill weed I wanted the fresh one but I don't have so I'll just use the dry one and the garlic powder and of course our favorite chicken powder chicken bouillon powder because I could not find my guinea mix anymore and salt and pepper also butter the butter it's already softened and the cream cheese is also softened already and parsley fresh parsley green onions <laughs> and I found this this is not part of our ingredients I found this in my pantry Chris always leaves me messages on my you know today to-do list and I found this so let's put it back this is where I put my to-do list and my list that I need to buy grocery shopping and he left it there for me so yeah that's not part of our ingredients I just put it there and forgot about it so these are the ingredients for our today's vlog so what I need to do is first I want to wipe the pork make sure it's really dry because we are going to put butter so the butter will stick to the meat And make sure the butter is soft but not melted just soft so it will spread nicely to the pork because the pork is very lean guys we need all this butter yes we need all the butter if you're health conscious put just a little bit of butter see if the meat is wet that's not gonna stick the butter's not gonna stick but that's good enough because we're going to roll it anyway this is our cream cheese we are going to spread the cream cheese also or maybe I'll just cut I'll just cut it but before I put that I want to put our seasoning first chicken powder we're going to season it inside and out pepper little bit of salt garlic powder and we are going to put the cheese and we are 
going to combine the mayo, the honey mustard, and the dill. the parsley. The parsley you just need to rough chop it. Doesn't have to be fine. Mix it all together. Then we'll just spread this. have a little bit left over I'm gonna spread that outside then we are going to roll it and I have some sticks here so we'll just roll it Make sure the sides are close. And I'm just going to put this it's better if you tie it. Wash my hands. I'm gonna put the chicken powder. A little bit of salt. Pepper. Again guys, layering of seasoning. Garlic powder. And we'll pat it so it will stick to the meat. more on the other side then I'm just going to use the rest of this to just spread it on that my hand and on our pan I am just going to put a little bit of olive oil we are going to put our pork tenderloin to the pan just to brown the outside and then we're going to bake it It smells so yummy. See how beautiful? We're gonna do that to all the sides. We're gonna cover it and we are going to put it inside the oven 350 for 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes we're going to use our thermometer to make sure it's cooked because this is pork so in the oven we go I preheat the oven already I'll put 25 minutes first and while we are waiting for our pork loin guys we're going to make our plate where we're going to put our pork loin and this is not just a decoration this is also going to add flavor to our pork when we put it on top of this 
parsley, fresh parsley, and uh, green onions. I washed this already, and so we're just going to put the pork loin on top of this. So it gives flavor and at the same time, a nice presentation. You know me guys with my presentation. Even just me and Chris, I always say this, that I always make sure his plate looks really pretty when I serve his food. Easy. And again, if you have visitors coming over, you have idea of what to do with your dish. And we have a few minutes and our pork loin is ready. Oh my gosh, guys. Look how delicious it looks. Look at all the juice that came out. beautiful and it smells so good so let us move it to our plate i'll try to remove the stick and we'll pour some of the sauce It smells so good guys let us try to cut it that I rest I let it rest for a few minutes so let's try to cut it and see what it looks like inside yep it is cooked oh how nice It's so tender. That's beautiful. Nice. Look at the inside. It is perfect. The best part of this video, guys, is me tasting the food. It is so tender. And I can taste all the, um, the spices and the seasonings and the cream cheese and the mayonnaise and mustard I could probably eat this whole thing I don't know what is Chris is gonna have for his dinner and I like to eat this onion told you it's not just a garnish I love green onions better stop eating because I might eat the whole thing I need to save it. this is mine and this two pieces for Chris you should try this guys if you cannot find a piece of um like pork tenderloin you can use any kind of um, part of the pork as long as you can uh, slice it thinly so Thank you guys so much for watching you should try this recipe and it is so yummy so i'll see you guys again later bye for now